So as we all know, one plus bones are extremely fast, but exactly how much of a difference does half year make? Let's go and find out. So we have the one plus three T on the left and one plus five on the right. Now these bones actually have a lot of similarities, so they have two major differences. So one of them is a camera setup on a 3T of one camera on the back at 16 megapixels. And on the 5 you have two uh, dual camera setup, one is 16, the other one is 20 megapixels. As you guys see the 5 first one to boot up by a couple seconds. And then the other major difference is the processor, so Snapdragon 821, 6GB RAM on a 3T. Versus the latest Snapdragon 835 and either 6 or 8GB RAM for the 5. Alright guys, so everything closed down on both. So yeah, the 3T, six months old at this point. Um, let's go ahead and start off with BBC News. So yeah guys, insanely fast here on the five. I funny next. You do. Calculator. And obviously, guys, the 5 is going to win the big majority of this, just a matter of by how much. Clock. But still a lot more testing to do. Um, but obviously, guys, 5 doing really, really well so far. Photos. Winning pretty much everything or time. All right, now for games, you're going to see the biggest difference. So let's go ahead and count the difference between the two. I think it should be about 3 or 4 seconds. Yeah, about four seconds or so. All right, settings. CBS Sports. Now both these phones, same 5.5 inch screen, 1080p. Count for on two. All right, and this one also gonna go to the five, but not by as much, probably about half a second. Modern Combat 5. Both phones front facing 60 megapixel cameras. And either 64, 100 gigabytes internal storage, no micro SD card support for both. All right, so again, uh, five by about a second or two. And then taking a look at the intuitive benchmark. So 162,000 versus 183 is actually listed first for all phones. Although personally I have got a higher score on some other phones. All right, let's do Chrome next. All right, so let's go to INB first. Okay, so we'll fast here on the five. Let's do IGN. Again, fast here on the five. OnePlus.net. Once again, we have the five here. And last one, guys, is Zelda.com. Okay, so not that much of a difference there, but overall, guys, web browsing obviously going to the 5. And we can even try revisiting a site or two. Let's do the IGN.com first. And one more to IMDb. Yeah, so overall, guys, web browsing going to the 5, but still extremely fast and bold. Let's go ahead and do camera speed next. And here's a look at the camera setup. So again, you have two on the five, uh, one is 16, the other one is 20 megapixels, and you have one on a 3T at 16 megapixels. All right guys, just snapping a few pictures. Okay, so five a little bit faster, except for there. 
for the overall 5 volt capacitor. Alright everyone, so pigment scanner next. And pigment scanner on this phone cannot be beat. Uh, in the best placement right here on the home button. And this crazy pigment scanner on both. Insanely fast, very accurate as well. These are the best pigment scanners on the market. Um, so yeah, this is one area where they're not really going to be able to improve in the future. Although I'm assuming they'll probably put it on the screen or something at some point. But for now guys, again, this cannot be beat. Huawei phones, X1 pigment scanners as well, probably about the same. But again guys, these are the best out there. Alright everyone, so multitasking my last report, let's go over the specs really quick and keep this a minute of less. So both these phones, 5.5 inch screen, 1080p, uh, front facing camera on both 16 megapixels. Again, you have the fingerprint scanner right here. You have USB-C at the bottom. Designs, uh, design is slightly altered, but obviously very similar. And look at the back. So guys, I do really love this black design on the 5. Um, really beautiful design. And you guys see two cameras, again, on the uh, 5. So 20 megapixels and 16 versus one at 16. So yeah, pretty nice designs on both. You have metal builds. Now internally, you can get either 64 or 100 gigabytes for both phones. No micro SD card support. Um, battery is actually slightly larger on a 3T because it did reduce the size a bit on the 5. Made it a little bit thinner. Um, so 3400 versus 3300. However, the battery on the 5 is supposed to hold up better. Um, with the Snapdragon 35, it's supposed to be a little bit better overall in terms of ice span. Snapdragon 821, 6 gigabytes of RAM for the 3T. Snapdragon 835 and either 6 or 8, I do have the 8 gigabyte model for the 5. And then no waterproofing and that mostly does it. Alright guys, so let's get to the final test. Alright everyone, so multitasking last. And going back towards the very beginning. So BBC News. X1 on both. iFunny. Now guys, 3T has really improved quite a bit here for multitasking uh, with the latest update. But that one clearly going to the 5. I think the 5 is probably the best uh, phone in the world for multitasking. That means 3T is really not far behind. Now most phones will definitely reload some of these um, to temper on 2. So yeah, again, not reloading. Photos. Absolutely exceptional on both. Wow. And a couple more to get my final thoughts. That's part eight. Wow, yeah, I mean, really amazing on both neck and neck. And let's do two more. CBS Sports. And final one. Let's do camera. Yeah, guys, incredible uh, multitask on both phones. So as usually the case between two phones that are six months apart, there's not huge differences between the 3T and the 5. However, there are two major ones, as I mentioned, both the camera setup on the back, which I will have a lot of comparisons of that in the future. Um, and then the other one, of course, what we just saw, the speed test, the processor, um, so A21 versus A25, 6 bytes of RAM versus 8. Um, and obviously guys, the 5 did a really, really, really good job here. Um, I did do tests versus some of the other major phones like the Sony Xperia Premium, iPhone 7 Plus, Galaxy S8 Plus. Definitely check those out if you haven't already. It is an insanely fast phone. Now keep in mind guys, just because I have been using the 3T for about 6 months, uh, it does impact the speed a bit. All phones do slow down over time. Um, but obviously things like the intuitive score, the gaming, it was never that fast on a 3T at any point. Um, and same for most of the tests in general. So overall guys, the 5 is obviously significantly faster than the 3T. However, that said guys, I think for most people, if you have the 3T already, you should be very satisfied with the phone. Uh, probably not worth upgrading to the 5 unless you have the money to spend. But obviously guys, it's just my opinion. Uh, the 5 is one of the best phones on the market. So if you feel that the speed upgrades are worth it, you really want the dual camera setup, then I say go for it. Uh, again, if you're willing to spend extra money for it. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now I do have a lot more OnePlus videos planned for the future. So if you want to check that out, click in the top left corner there, subscribe. Or if you want, you can watch another video right now by clicking right there in the bottom right. All right, guys, thanks again for watching.